أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين آمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يا أحل القرآن I hope and pray that you all are in the best state of health and increasing state of iman آمين الحمد لله so in previous class we completed learning tajweed of ayah number one and two of surah al-mulk alhamdulillah and all of you have recited it uh, very well mashallah few sisters have done lehan al-khafi that is the mistakes which are not haram to do but still they are not allowed to do in the quran they are not uh, you can say it is makru uh, then few sisters have done of lehan al-jali that is called as haram mistake which are not allowed to do in the quran because those kind of mistakes will change the word of a quran they can change the meaning of a quran or they can change a meaningful word into a meaningless word okay and that is why it is important for you all inshallah to avoid those mistakes uh, make a separate book whenever i tell your mistakes you have to write your mistakes there and you should work on it inshallah okay today inshallah let's learn the next two ayahs of surah al-mulk first i'm going to recite this after that inshallah let's look into tajweed rulings a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem alladhi khalaq sab'a samawatin tibaqa ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب اليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسير Okay, so inshallah, let's now look into one number three. Al-lazhi khalaq sab'a samawatin tibaqa Al-lazhi, Hamzat al-Wasl has a letter lam after it. Whenever Hamzat al-Wasl is followed by lam, we add fatha to Hamzat al-Wasl. Okay. Al-Ladhi, let us dal, which no buzzing sound. I have repeated this many times in the previous class, but still many of you in your recitation recited, recited it Al-Ladhi. That is, you just made this meaningful word into meaningless word. You just removed the meaning of a word. Because if you add a different letter here, the meaning of the word becomes meaningless, right? Just like in uh, English, S-A-P and C-A-P. These both letters have a different meaning. But C can be used sometimes as S, right? But still, if you change a letter, the word became meaningless or the word can change completely. So, I emphasized this yesterday, like many times I have told you, but still many sisters recited this, Allah this is wrong. Okay, you have already completed your basic Tajweed course. You should not do this kind of mistake, especially when you already know the makhraj of a letter. How to pronounce this letter? Zal. The tip of the tongue should touch the upper incisor teeth, the corner of upper incisor teeth. It should come out. Allah, the, the. Okay, and this letter Zal is stretched for two count because Kasra is followed by Yasakin. This is Yamad, Yamadu Tabari, or Madul Asli. الذي خلق خلق this letter خ and this letter ق both are حروف المستعلية يعني they are the heavy letters you cannot make it light it is not خلق it is خلق خلق استعالة is done that is raising the back portion of your tongue it will make a narrowness in your mouth and it will be uh, heavy automatically okay so you should make sure to pronounce this letter kha and qaf heavily okay with the qalqala sab sab it should bounce it should not sound like sab this is wrong 
سب ع سب ع اوکے عین is pronounced from middle part of a throat don't pronounce it like hamza okay it is not sab a it is sab a okay sab a samawatin meem has standing fatha wow has standing fatha that is alif saghira that is why we will stress this meem and wow for two to count okay samawatin tin two for two kasra is here that is kasra tain or kasratan that means it is tanween right when tanween is followed by to then we will apply the ruling of ikhfa that is hiding the uh, tanween and nun sakin in nasal cavity that is in nasalization for two count inshallah samawati tibaq samawati samawati Just look how to hold that sound in your nasal cavity. It should not be izhar with the gunna. It should be ikhfa with the gunna. Okay. Samawati tuibaqa. Tuibaqa. This letter ta and this letter ta both has same makhraj. That is same articulation point. The tip of the tongue touches the back side or the roots of your upper incisor teeth. Okay, the makhraj is same, but the difference is this is a light letter, this is a heavy letter. Okay, this is ta ti tu, this is to toi tu. Heaviness doing istiqala, it is a heavy letter. Okay, but instead of saying toi ba ko, if you just recite it ti ba ko, this word becomes meaningless because you are replacing to. With letter ta, if you change a letter, not just in Arabic, in any other language, it can change the meaning of a word, or can it, or it can make it meaningless, right? So that is why even here in Quran, especially, you should not change a letter. You have to recite this letter ta heavily. It is not ti ba pun. It is toi 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 ba pun. Okay, heaviness, inshallah. Ba is stretch for two haraka. Fatha is followed by alif. It is alif madia. Qaf is a heavy letter. Don't pronounce it like qan. It is a qa qa. Okay. Fatha tan is ending here, right? You can see the sign of waqf al mutlaq, which means absolute stopping. If you stop at this point, which is very best to stop, because in between the ayahs, if you find this letter in the middle of the ayah, if you find this uh, sign ta. It means it is best to stop at that point. It can uh, make a meaning of ayah very good if you stop at this point. Okay. While stopping, this fathatan will convert to alif madia. This ruling is called as madal ayvad. Ayvad means substituting. We are substituting fathatan into madal madal tabi. That is why it is called as madal ayvad. This qaf is now stretched for two haraka. Now we will not stop at this point like tiba qan. No, no. We'll have to stretch it like. Tibaqa, tibaqa, two count. Just like how we are stretching ba in the same way of tibaqa, tibaqa. Okay, inshallah. Alladhi khalaq sab'a samawatin tibaqa. Ma tara fi khalqi rrahmani min tafawut. Ma tara mim is stretched for two count. Ma tara ra has standing fatha, which is followed by this ya, which is also called as alif maqsura. It is a silent letter. We will not recite this ya, but we will recite this ra with standing fatha. We will stretch stretch this letter ra for two count. Inshallah, this ya has no sign. Sometimes you will see. Either ya or wow after this standing fatha at the end of a word, okay? But you will not recite that wow and that ya, but you will recite a letter before it which has standing fatha, okay? By stretching it for two count, now you will stretch this letter raw for two count and also will make it heavy because raw with standing fatha will always be heavy. Ma tara fi fi tu haraka ya madia khalqi khaw heavy. And the qaf is also heavy. Let her make it heavy, even if it has kasra. And don't pronounce it like kha. 
these both letters are different while reciting in previous ayah uh, many of the sisters did the same mistake you recited it like uh, this word was there in previous ayah right you recited it like khala kha it is not kha it is a qaf okay even here khalqi khalqi qi qi not khi okay khalqi now this qaf is connected to ra Lam al-shamsiya, hamzat al-wasl of ar-rahman is not read. Khalqi ar-rahmani, ar-rahminess, ar-rahmani. This ha is very sharp or else it will convert into the another ha which is from last part of its road. The ha which is here. This is ha, ha with a blunt sound. Ha, but this one is with a very sharp sound. Rah, rah. Okay, but if you change the word, the letter, if, if you change the letter, the meaning of a word becomes meaningless. Okay. Khalqi ar-Rahmani. Stretch mean for two count. Khalqi ar-Rahmani. Mutafawut. Noon sakin is followed by ta. You will have to do ikhfa, that is ghunna for two count, by hiding the noon sakin in nasal cavity. Mutafawut. Fa for two count. It has standing fatha al sughira. Wow is pronounced using your lips because especially when wow has dhamma, I have seen sisters reciting it like hamza. It is not tafawut. It is tafawut. Wut. Recite it from your lips and circle your lips and pronounce it like woo woo not oo okay tafawut this ta has kasratan but while doing waqf kasratan will convert to sakin because we are doing waqf at this point waqf al mutlaq absolute stopping and while we add sakin to this ta make sure to do hums it is not tafawut it is tafawut wut this Hums that is continuation of the breed should be done while pronouncing the letter ta. Okay. Tafawut. 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 Okay. Inshallah. Ma tara fi khalqi rahmani min tafawut. Farji'i al-basar hal tara min futur. Okay, فَرْجِعِ الْبَصَرَ First connected to Ra. This Hamzat al-Wasl of word إِرْجِعِ is not read. This is actually Hamzat al-Wasl. It is not Alif Madhya. It is the Hamzat al-Wasl. You can identify by looking at the letter after it. It has Sakin. After Hamzat al-Wasl, there will be always either Sakin letter or Tajdeed letter. Okay. Uh, Ra Sakin will be heavy now because it has Hamzat al Wasla before it and also because it has a letter carrying Fatha before it. Farji'i. Farji'i. It is not Hamza, it is a Ain. Farji'i. Now, I is connected to Lam of the word Al Basara. This Hamzat al Wasla is not read. Farji'i al Basara. Saad is heavy and Ra is heavy here. Okay. Saad is heavy because it is huruf al musta'aliya. It is a heavy letter. If you make it light, it will convert to this letter. Can you see this one? Seen. Saad. The makhraj is same. The both has whistling sound. Sa, si, su. But this is sa, si, su. Heaviness. If you make it light, it will convert to this letter. And you will be doing haram mistake. By changing a letter of, of the Quran. Okay. Ba, so, ra. So, so. Stretch it only for one count. All these three letters. Ra is also heavy as it has fatha on it. You can see this letter lam alif here. Right. This is a sign which indicates you have to not stop at this point. If you stop, it can change the meaning of a ayah. So, you will never stop at this point. But still, if your breath just breaks at this point. But you will have to go back and recite again. You will not have to stop at the point where there is lam alif. Okay, it means not to stop there. فَرُجِعِ الْبَصَرَ هَلْ تَرَى هَلْ This ha is pronounced in a very blunt sound. Can you see like ha, ha. It is not ha now. Because that sharp sound comes from this ha. This is a very blunt sound. That is from the last part of your throat. Ha, ha, ha. 
Tara. Or Ra is heavy with stunning fatha and stretch it, stretch it for two harakas. This ya is not red. It is silent. Hal Tara min futur. Noon sakin is followed by fa. We will do ikhfa for two count by doing gunna. Min futur. This letter ta is a heavy letter. Just like I said here, if you convert ta into ta, it can be lehen al jali. So don't make it light. It is not futur. It is futur. Tu, tu, tu. Heaviness. Do isti'ala, it will become heavy automatically. Futur. Ra will acquire sakin now. As we are doing waqf at this point. And as we added sakin to it, it will become heavy because it has a letter before it carrying dhumma. Right? Letter before it is also sakin, but the letter before that is dhumma, and that is why the raw sakin will be heavy. And also, we can apply the ruling of madul arid li sukun here. Maybe you all know these three conditions of madul arid li sukun. What are these three conditions? Number one, we have to do waqf. Right, we are stopping here. Number two, the last letter should carry the harakas which will convert to sakin. Kasratan will convert to sakin. Alhamdulillah. The two conditions have been fulfilled. What is the third condition? The important one. The last letter to which we are add adding sakin should have a letter before it. Either huruf al mad or it must have madul asli. Right? But here, can you see here in this place, we did work. We added arid sukun. But the letter before it was not a huruf al mad, right? And that is why we did not apply madul arid li sukun here, but we can apply it here now by stretching this letter a huruf al mad for two, four, or six count, inshallah. Okay, I'm going to recite this ayah again. Alladhi khalaqa sab'a samawatin tibaqa ma tara fi khalqi rahmani min tafawut farji'i al-basar hal tara min futur thumma arji'i al-basar karratayn yanqalib ilayka al-basar khasi'an wa huwa hasir thumma Okay, can you see this letter S? This is a letter with no whistling sound because actually we mispronounce this letter. We always do a whistling sound in this due to which this letter S will convert to this letter seen. Can you see this letter seen here? These both are different letters. Okay, it is not SUM. Okay, make sure not to pronounce it with whistling sound. Or else you are changing a letter in the Quran. Astaghfirullah. We are not allowed to change anything in the Quran. You are converting this letter S to the letter Seen. This letter Seen has a whistling sound like S, C, Su. But this doesn't have. How to pronounce this letter S? I am going to repeat this thing again which we have learned in basic Tajweed. Because many of you are doing the mistakes in this. So keep in mind this letter Zal. This letter S. And this letter wa. How to pronounce it? Uh, you have four incisor teeth in top and uh, your bottom jaws, right? The square kind of teeth just under your lips. Uh, if you just open your lips and see, you can see these four teeth, right? These four teeth. Your tip of the tongue, this is your tip, tip of the tongue. It should touch these corners this corners of your upper incisor teeth it should come out you can see your tongue coming out of your teeth if you go into a mirror and see if you look at the mirror you you should see that your tip of the tongue is coming out of your teeth or i can say for your easiness you have to press your uh, tip of the tongue between two upper and lower incisor teeth you just have to press if this is your tongue you'll have to press it okay lightly press it that will be very easy for you to understand but make sure to, to i mean take your tongue out of your uh yani teeth it should come out the the zoo sa si su wa vi vu remember these three letters because if you make a whistling sound in these letters it will convert to different letters the will convert to z and even this wa will convert to z and this sa will convert to seen. 
okay and that is why in these three letters you'll have to be very careful not to make any whistling sound fine how to pronounce this letter sa now take your tongue out touch it to the upper incisor teeth okay sum sum fine sum meme has tajdeed on it can you see this meme should be uh, It pronounced with two count ghunna when it has tajdeed on it. The meme and noon both are the letters of ghunna that is nasalization. When they have this tajdeed sign on them, you will have to do ghunna nasalization for two count. It is compulsory. Okay, ghunna is compulsory in meme and noon when it has tajdeed. Sum. Okay, sum. and this will have to hold the sound of uh, that letter meme in nasal cavity now connect this meme to letter ra sakina and ra sakin will be heavy due to hamzat al wasl before it so ma urji ain pronounce it clearly it is not hamza so ma urji al basara ain is connected to lam hamzat al wasl is not read ba sa ra sa then ra is heavy now so this is a heavy letter so it will be heavy ra has fath and that is why it is heavy ba sa ra karataini karra even here the ra is heavy it is not karra it is karra karra taini ai it is not karra taini taini it is completely wrong karataini ai okay the sound of yalin should be ai not a karataini ya qalib nun sakin is followed by qaf do ikhfa for two count ghunna ya qalib ya qalib qaf is heavy ba has sakin that is why it will be pronounced with qalqala ya qalib Again, the letter lam with fatha is followed by ya sakin. That is ya lin. Don't pronounce it like a. For example, when you do salam, it is not assalamu alaikum. It is wrong. It is assalamu alaikum, not alaikum, alaikum. Same thing even here. It is ya qalib ilayka, not ilayka. Ilayka is wrong. Keep this in your mind. Okay. Ilai kal basaru kaf is now connected to lam of the word al basaru. Hamza al wasl is not read. Ilai kal basaru so then raw heavy so has fatha. Stretch it only for one count. It is a heavy letter. You have to pronounce it heavily. Or raw has no man. That is why it will be heavy and pronounce it only for one haraka. Ilai kal basaru khasi an kha. It is not kha. It is not light. It is heavy. Kha, kha si an. Then mean is followed by wow. That is why we will do idgham with gunna. Gunna will be for two count. Kha si an wa huwa. Kha si an wa huwa. Just see how we are doing gunna. Kha si an wa huwa. Okay, wa huwa. All the letters for one one haraka. Wa huwa. Hasir. This letter ha is very sharp. It is not hasir. It is hasir. Okay. Ra has two matan, but doing waqf it will convert to sakin. We can apply madal aridli sukun and stretch this huruf al mad for either two or four or six count. Madal aridli sukun can be stretched either for two count or four count or six count. But while reciting Quran, you have to be consistent. For example, you have started reciting Surah Al Mulk now. And if you recited Madul Aridul Sukun in the first ayah only for four haraka, then till the completion of that tilawa, you will have to recite it only for four haraka. It has a choice like two, four, or six, but you cannot make one ayah two haraka and another ayah. You cannot do it for four. It is not like that. It should be consistent in the whole tilawa session which you will be doing at that particular time. It will be for four haraka only if you do it four haraka at the beginning. If you do it just for two haraka, then it will be two throughout that session. Okay, inshallah. Now I will recite this ayah. Summa rojil al basar karatain ya qalib ilayk al basar khasi an wa huwa hasir. Okay, rosakin will be light here. 
because it has sakin before it and the letter before it is kasura and that is why ra sakin will be light alhamdulillah so inshallah now let's recite these ayas uh, many times so that uh, you will practice it well inshallah with tajweed you can unmute your mics if there is no disturbance in the background okay if there is any disturbance make sure to keep it muted but still recite with me okay inshallah أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا Okay, I'll recite it very slowly. Make sure to concentrate on each letter. الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فَرْجِعِ الْبَصَرَ هَلْ تَرَى مِنْ سُطُورٍ فَرْجِعِ الْبَصَرَ هَلْ تَرَى مِنْ سُطُورٍ Okay, dear sisters. Well, I am reciting. Please don't recite because other sisters will not uh, will not be able to hear what I am reciting. Okay. Well, I'll be reciting. Just uh, stay quiet, inshallah. We'll recite this ayah again. الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فرجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر كرة 
Basaru, basaru, basaru. Heaviness, okay? So, so. It is just like in English we say so, right? Just like one second. It is just like this so in English. We say so. I saw that. It is so. It is not sa. Okay? Ilaykal basaru khasi au wa huwa hasir. الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب اليك البصر إليك البصر خاسئا وهو حسير الذي خلق سبع سماوات طباقا ما ترى في خلق الرحمن من تفاوت فارجع البصر هل ترى من فطور ثم ارجع البصر 
بَصَرَ كَرَّتَيْنِ يَنْقَلِبْ إِلَيْكَ الْبَصَرُ خَاسِئًا وَهُوَ حَسِيرٌ Masha Allah, Barakumullah, Fikum, you are reciting very good here, Alhamdulillah, but I don't know why while reciting it again tomorrow, you will be making any mistakes. Make sure to practice this after watching video again and again, especially these things which are lehnal jali, you have to avoid it, okay? They, those are the haram mistakes in Quran. Uh, make sure to not do those mistakes. Repeat, uh, yani, recite with me by looking, by watching the recording again and again, inshallah, okay? And a uh, few things that is let us uh, should not have a whistling sound. Let us dal should not have a buzzing sound. And this is not karwataini. It is karwataini. It is not ilaika. It is ilaika. And here saw should be heavy or else it will convert to seen. Ta should be heavy in both the places or else it will convert to letter ta. Just make sure to focus on this letter. This is ha, not ha. Okay. While reciting tomorrow, you will not this this you will not do this kind of mistakes. Inshallah. Okay. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we have completed learning these two ayahs. Inshallah, tomorrow online students will recite online, and the WhatsApp student will recite on WhatsApp. So, inshallah, now we'll end this meeting. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakumullahu khairah.